Wow. That storm lasted what, Jeff? Ten minutes? Yeah. You could do some catfishing. <laughs> Guys, this will be dry within a few days. Seriously. But we wanted to come up and look at this because, yeah. Yeah. Build or nothing. Uh-uh. Except for that. But. Well, because they've diverted all the water around this pond. Yep. What we wanted to come up, of course, to check on the animals. But also, I'm going to walk this way, babe. To see where we are going to be able to plant. our watermelon and stuff. Now this is coming off of the overflow on our top pond. And going straight down to the bottom pond. Wow. They did really good with water management here. Chickens are out. No big deal. Oh, look. You walked right past it. Jeff. Big old snapping turtle. Oh, cow. She walked right past it. I thought it was a rock. Huh. Look how full that pond was. I know, I'm trying to get up there. Oh, my Atlanta. Wow. It just about, it did overflow it, Jeff. Wow. Yeah, see? I cuz it all comes from up there. <laughs> he hates the I told you so's. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wow. Man, look at how full this is. Guys, we might have got an inch of rain, inch and a half of rain, but it fell in about 15 minutes. That's crazy. Just crazy. They sure did a, a they did a good job putting this property together. But now at least we can see where the water's running and we don't want to mess that up because it obviously works. Mm. Old snapping turtle's getting away from you. <clears throat> he's going, he's going. Them things are mean. We don't like the snapping turtles. <laughs> Jeff's wanting to stock this top pond. And uh, you can't do that with snapping turtles. They'll, they'll kill most of your fish. But I want to go up and just check on everybody. Holy cow, guys. I am not even kidding you. We went from hearing the news guy say that this mostly was going to be a wind a wind and rain event. Christy came in. We were standing on the front porch watching the clouds and I could hear my phone going off. I said, oh, hold on. Let me go get my phone. Ran in and got my phone and yeah. I said, guys, we're under a tornado warning. And just as I said that, 
our news guy, David Payne, News 9, thumbs up, said, if you're in Cushing, seek shelter now. And we were gone. <laughs> we were gone. So thankfully, family had prepared us, told me, have a go bag ready, put all your important documents in it, you know, this and that. So it was sitting at the back door. We grabbed it and was in the shelter. So it's a, it was a dramatic moment, but we were in the shelter and it was all good. But boys, hi, <laughs> sweetheart. I'm trying to make my way up to my girls. I'm uh, not without <clears throat> expectations that they're probably waterlogged in there. Because this all came from the west. And uh, their shelter opens up to the west. The good thing about Oklahoma, though, is most of this will be dried out in a few days. Girls! Are we okay? <laughs> Where's my girls? Hi, my ladies. Oh, my Lanta, guys. These poor goats. <laughs> Hi, girls. We are supposed to be nice and clear tomorrow, so I guarantee I'll bring you guys up. All this will be drained away. So, <laughs> hey girls, I'm so thankful we moved the boys up here because last night, this morning, the wind was blowing from the east and pushed all the rain into their shelter and they were soaked. So we brought them in here. And I am so very thankful that we did. They're a little wet, but everybody's safe. Oh, my Lanta. Girls. Are we okay, girls? Yeah, we're okay, aren't we? Nary a screw out of place, guys. Not even a screw out of place. The cat is soaked. The chicken is soaked. <laughs> Guys, I still love this state. I still love it here. Wouldn't trade it for all the tea in China. Literally. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyways. That's the doings at Hanson Never Done Farms after the tornado warning. <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.